Can MIG welders weld aluminum? World welding involves a special craft. Welding is a craft that requires a unique ability to use heat to mold specific types of metal into various shapes for tons of different purposes. There are a handful of different welding types. Stick, TIG, plasma arc, electron beam, laser, gas welding, and the type we'll focus on today, MIG welding. MIG welding is the easier welding type, allowing beginners to learn more easily. Of the various types of metal that can be welded, aluminum comes up a fair amount. Can MIG welders weld aluminum? Yes, although aluminum can be tricky to MIG weld, it can be done. The process will require more heat than mild steel, which is the most common metal used in MIG welding jobs. Anything thinner than 18-gauge aluminum would require a TIG welder. MIG welding aluminum. This can be a tedious practice, so let's just get that out of the way first. Aluminum is going to be a thinner metal than the steel typically used in MIG. Therefore, you're going to get some burn through. Especially when first learning how to MIG weld aluminum. Be prepared for that, because it's going to happen. Don't get frustrated, just be sure to start with some workpieces that you can throw away. Having some workpieces to practice on is going to make this process way more laid back. That's why it's best not to go thinner than 18 gauge aluminum. In welding, travel speed is a term that is used quite often. And what this means is the speed in which you move the arc along the metal. Yes, it matters a lot. With steel, you can move the arc slower because the metal is thicker, and therefore you won't have as much burn through where the arc pokes through the metal. With aluminum, it's much easier to burn through, so you want to move quicker. By moving faster, it won't give the heat a chance to burn holes in your project. Safe welding practices. Always be sure to also prepare your equipment properly. Welding is a skill that requires a lot of safety and proper use of dangerous equipment. Always set yourself up for success by checking these items off your list before beginning. Check your cables, before striking your arc, make sure that any and all cables being used with your machinery is in good working order. Select electrode polarity, MIG welding is going to require reverse polarity to get the job done. Meaning that you will need DC electrode positive. This is easy to accomplish, your settings will be right on the side of the welding machine. Set gas flow, you will want to turn on your shielding gas and set the flow rate. Since we're welding aluminum, we will need the flow rate on the higher end to provide a higher rate of heat. Typically MIG settings are at 20 to 25 cubic feet per hour. Check your tension, the drive rolls and the wire spool hub are both important to have the proper tension set. Inspect consumables, always clean spatter from contact tubes. It's also important to replace. In order to help you to learn more about welding, we've put together awesome information for you that we want to share with you. Are you going to WeldingTroop.com and there you can see all articles about welding.